Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. And we're very lucky today we have a special assistant returning. Her name is Molly. Come join us, Molly. And many of you, I know many of you guessed the book when I showed the llama. Okay, Molly's gonna hold the llama. And the name of the book is, yes, is your mama a llama? Now, for many, many years at the Children's Library in Seacliff, this was the story we did right before Mother's Day. And of course, we're talking about Mother's Day, right? Uh, so let me get the start, get this story started. It actually begins right here. Um, the animal, we'll call it an animal, is looking at an egg that's about to crack open. <gasps> and sure enough, it does. And the um, what emerges from the egg is a seagull. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. And the seagull's mom has brought it some food. Wonderful. All right, let's find out. <gasps> is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you were right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. Uh -oh. What do you think? What do you think Freddy's mom is? <gasps> oh, my mom has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think your mama must be a swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. My mama, she grazes on grass and likes to say moo. I don't think that's what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think your mama must be a cow. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Ah, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Look at it's getting dark. The sun is setting. Mm -hmm. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Moranda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. <coughs> oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama is a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. No, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears and long lashes and fur, and you of all people should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama, and this is the end. What a great, great story and a wonderful, wonderful story for Mother's Day. Let's check our cake, all right? Yesterday it was a little more chocolate, so let's check who did their voting today. The cake. Yeah, I'll put it up there. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. All right, so today, Sunday, Mother's Day, for vanilla, I have the following votes. Audrey, Lila, Joseph. Joseph always votes vanilla. Annabelle, Kira, Lily, 
Haley, Emily, Miles, and Jackson all voted vanilla. Chocolate, Ben and B, Molly, Alice, Graham, Maeve, Allison, and Nicholas. Chocolate. I'm going to count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chocolates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten vanilla. Oh, it's a little bit more vanilla today. Let's work on that one, right? Get the vanilla up. Mmm, lovely. Okay, let me hold it up. And, sure, certainly, Molly's going to hold it. Uh, today, we're going to sing Happy Mother's Day. All right, let's do it. One, two, Happy three. Birthday. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day, dear children. Happy Mother's Day to you. Yes, and Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Let's blow out the candle. Yay, very good. Oberon, do you have a clue? Does Oberon have a clue? Let me check it out. Want to check it out, Molly? Get that clue going. All right, thank you. So, thank you. Very good, all right. Okay, in that, wow, I'm gonna hold them up here. Can you see what I have in my hands? Yeah. Think about it. Think about it, friends. Think about it. What's the story going to be? Well, come Monday, you'll find out. All right. Thank you, dear Oberon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Molly. And thank you. Thank you, Cameraman Dan. And thank you, everyone. I love you all very, very much. Mm -hmm.